Hey there guys, welcome to another John o Gamer video and today I'm going to show you Minecraft Pocket Edition but just remember all the stuff that's built in here was built by Rich Kid and myself so nobody else has this world and today I'm going to show you this world that I made progress within a year so I'm showing you the cannon it does work it's just you put arrows in there and then you go to the back sorry for this world's glitching my tablet's not good in good shape and then you go like this and it shoots out arrows well it's out of arrows but anyway that's something we bought for some reason another cannon bolt of diamonds then this is the test place. Oh, there's the arrows that came out the cannon and shoots onto this piece of iron ore. This is the swimming pool I made. As you can see, one of the chickens is swimming in it. Oh, and it pooped its eggs in there too. And this is some basic housing. Oh, yeah. And I'm also a fan of Clash of Clans, so as you can see, I bought a hidden Tesla attacking some type of skeleton and the hidden test has been destroyed I I bought an old level 7 I mean sorry an old level 4 X bow as you hear those sounds it's a glitch that was usually made so if I put arrows near it sets a light and it shoots these zombie pigmen as targets I bought it about a year ago, the Clash of Clans bomb. And here's one of the houses we built. Many houses, small houses. Even when people went into this game, you'll say rent a house. And here's some tracks my brother also made. His greenhouse. And my lava house. I bought about a year ago. As you can see, the lava going down. And this is supposed to be a mortar. Uh, arrows you shoot out of it, but it wasn't really successful. And this is... Magma Cube Land. I made it also. And then... And then I made these. Oh, sorry about this wall, guys. And there's the Magma sh um, Cube Shape. Yes, a house built of redstone. Also built that. Some colorful weird house I did. And now we're getting for the bigger part. Sorry, this world's glitching. Never glitches like this. Probably just because of the recording. Oh yeah, and I also grew mushroom houses, and I built this mini mansion, not so long ago, about a few months ago. I built it for my brother, let's check inside, so this is the house, the lighting inside, it's not that big, it's pretty simple, the furnace and everything, the view, and some decorations outside. While in creative mode, there's no need to close the door. You can even do that on the anvil. There's the mushrooms when I grew. There's the mushroom house and the iron version. And now I'm going to show you the biggest part. It we played for like four hours each day, building this during the June holidays of 2016. And as you see, my brother and I bought this. Nobody else. That's the truth. I promise you that. And here's the stadium I was building. So it's supposed to be a type of rugby stadium. As you can see, all the chairs around. It's still a work in progress. There's the master seat. It's built all out of different stairs. Now let's look from the top view. 
this is literally what I built. I added the usual MTN Vodacom <laughs> Celsi. Added the rugby posts. And I added all the couches and chairs here. As you can see. And glowstone back from the 0 0.15 update last year. And this iron is supposed to go all around here. And lights are supposed to be here, but it's still a work in progress. So, yeah. That's what I built so far. And so I don't lose my way. I also built this glowstone road. Let me just go down. Sorry about this, guys. It's just very bad. This whole thing. I have to reset my tablet. But anyway, besides that, I'm going to show you how to build the budge system. Which is, it's called the budge system because it stands for BUD, stands for Block Update Detector. It's a type of constructed switch. It's heavily contrived that triggers a redstone signal when a nearby block is updated. So. For this, you need an andesite block or any block of your choice that you like. Then you get a sticky piston. It's simple, guys. Just three things. And you get a block of redstone. Now, as you can see, the piston and the redstone are here. So it'll cause a type of short circuit. But all I know is that this is a very stable circuit, so no need to worry. It's usually better for Xbox One. PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and Xbox 360, and PC. It doesn't really work for pocket edition, but look, we place the redstone here. It starts moving like this. It'll start moving constantly, and it won't stop until you break the connection. So now, for this, if you want to do any f further things, you can maybe add some andesite here. You can add this piece. Maybe even add a dispenser. Then you can add some arrows to it. Like that. Or if you want to, you can keep it like that. Or if you want to build a cannon out of it. Oh, sorry. This button's a bit faulty. Here we go. Okay. And you go like this. Or however it should be built. Say now. Like this. Oops, sorry. But you, I know you can, guys can build better. It's just that I'm rushing a bit. But anyway, let's start this. You'll start to see arrows shooting out of it. And it starts now. See? Start shooting arrows. All the arrows is going that side. This is because of the bad switch system. It'll keep on triggering a red redstone charge. So you can usually use this for farming and all that for auto crops, but you can check more of that on YouTube. As you can see, it's shooting all the arrows out of this dispenser, and it's shooting quite fast, and it'll keep on going. And usually, you can use this for automated to produce crops and all that for your farms. So that's a little tip or a little trick you can do. And this is the stuff I'm gonna show you now. Sorry about this world, it's just bad. Okay, let's see if we can move any further. This world has been overdosed with items. Oh, and that's some emerald place we built. Uh, 
don't know what's it. Oh yeah, and then the skeleton king. It can literally shoot arrows out of here. As you can see, it's also a glitch used here. So if I put arrows in here, say five of them, then it shoots it out. And there's a skeleton spawner, because it's the king of skulls. And its cape of, is made of water. And scroll here. And there's some fountain we built. Let's see what else is in this world. Oh yeah, and I made some big chairs here for some reason. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's the reason. Then you can go down. It looks like these things are like candles. And these dispensers are here with buttons. Because you can get food out of here when you're in survival mode. So it's a, it's a cool way of doing it. Like you can see the cookies and pies there. And all that. And yeah. I guess this is it for my first Minecraft video. Here's my glowstone tree. Not glowstone, sorry. It's... I forgot the name now. Here's the archer tower from Clash of Clans. You usually sit there to shoot skeletons. And these have redstone underneath to operate the power. And you can't really see it, I covered it up. But anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. Sorry it wasn't so good. But I hope you learned some tricks and all that. The stadium, the bud switch. And thanks for watching this video. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And comment down by the comment section below if you want to. Anyway, see you in the next video. And thanks for watching this. Bye.